What's up? It's Brady with Gons and Oak. We got another video for you today all about the shoulder, how to get bolder shoulders. I'm sure a lot of you gym bros out there work on your shoulders, trying to get them huge. This is going to talk about some tips and a huge mistake that a lot of people make when they're training shoulders. Also, if you have an extra three seconds, go and hit the like button. That'd be awesome. Let's get into it. All right, so as you probably know, the shoulder is made out of three main muscles. We have the anterior delt, the uh, posterior delt, and then right in the middle, the lateral delt. So the action of the anterior deltoid is shoulder flexion and a little bit of shoulder abduction, but not nearly as much as your lateral deltoid, which main function is abduction. Lastly, your posterior deltoid deals with horizontal um, abduction as well as shoulder extension. A major problem that I see when people are training their shoulders is that they attack the interior delt a lot and neglect the posterior and the lateral delt. This is a huge problem because yes, the anterior delt is important and it's a very strong muscle, but it is not as big as the uh, lateral delt and doesn't shape the entire shoulder um, like a developed posterior delt would. So by knowing how to train your shoulders properly and the mistakes that are commonly made, we can eliminate those mistakes and have a really good training program that will develop your shoulders in the most effective way. So real quick, we're gonna hop over to the gym. I'm gonna show you the best exercises for your lateral delt and your posterior delt and what exercises you should be cautious of and maybe eliminate some volume from. So the following three exercises are three exercises that are primarily focused on the anterior deltoid. And so what we don't realize is that from chest days, doing chest flies and presses, we are already putting so much emphasis on the anterior deltoid that all these exercises for shoulders like overhead press, machine shoulder press, and even dumbbell shoulder press, we should use that volume more wisely in my opinion and put it towards the forgotten parts of the shoulder namely the lateral and posterior deltoids. So these three exercises are great, but not the best. Now here we have an upright row, which is a really great lateral deltoid exercise. Exercises like this that uh, use abduction are going to be primarily focused on the lateral deltoid. So here's an abduction machine. And what this is going to do is actually grow the biggest muscle of your shoulder being the lateral deltoid. And so instead of putting so much emphasis on the anterior deltoid, we can start to transfer that volume over to lateral deltoid exercises. Here's lateral raises, which is another great one. And lastly, the face pull. This is probably one of the best posterior deltoid exercises there is. And by doing these exercises, instead of just anterior deltoid exercises, we can get fuller, more round shoulders. All right, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we will see you in the next video.